Hello everyone, today I thought we would take a look at this admin panel comparison in a Ruby on Rails application. This was sent to me by someone, uh, they included a link to the GitHub, and then they also included a link to a subreddit post uh, because they said the, the GitHub page didn't have, uh, it looks like, the setup instructions. Uh, and then the subreddit post, one of the comments had the setup instructions right here. So we'll be following this. Basically what this project's gonna do is it's going to allow you to go to six different endpoints to compare different admin panel solutions. So you have active admin, you have AVO or AVO, you have Forest, which is gonna require you to go to their website, I believe to make an account, get an API key. So they do have like a free tier, a uh, team, a pro and an enterprise prized here uh, if you're interested in using like a software as a service for your backend admin panel stuff uh, you then have motor admin rails admin and trestle or whatever uh, so out of all of these the only one you'd have to pay for is forest uh, and my personal opinion would be to just roll your own <laughs> i know that uh, sounds uh probably not what you want to hear because it's it's extra work but uh the, these are one of those things where like you know what you need you don't need all of the extra fluff uh and for me personally i've seen enough horror stories and i've run into enough experiences with the uh, different admin panel solutions and different frameworks and stuff where it almost always becomes the same problem of just uh it's great until it's not and then it becomes a slog of trying to get this thing to work the way you want it to where if you just built it from scratch spent like maybe an extra 10 minutes just generating out of basic scaffold uh you'd be able to extend it far more easily but uh that's not the point of this video it's just to take a look at this uh, code base so we'll come in here we'll grab the code we'll click the little copy button uh, and before i get started here i actually want to point out the reddit post does have like a 12 minute video so if you're interested i would highly recommend checking that out uh because it'll probably be a fair bit less skeptical than i am when it comes to admin panels so you might actually learn something if you watch that video as opposed to this one uh, but then we can come in here do a git clone paste this in and just name this whatever we want to in my case i'll call it video so by putting that name there that's just the name of the folder that the project will be cloned into we can then go ahead and uh, oops cd into the video project and then in the video project we'll run these uh, steps right here so we'll run a bundle install so we'll just go ahead and run a bundle that will install the gems that are listed in here we can then run a uh, rails db colon create and a db colon migrate command to create and migrate the database. Uh, you can also optionally run a bin slash rails command if you want to. In my case, the database already exists. Uh, and then we can run a rails db colon seed command to seed the database. So pretty standard stuff. Uh, bundle install, create and migrate, seed, and then run your server, right? So that will then set up a couple different endpoints for you in this application. So you're going to have a localhost port 3000 as is usual, but then you can go to slash AA for active admin slash RA for rails admin slash AVO or AVO for the, the, the correlating project. Uh, then you can go to localhost port 3000 slash motor for motor admin and then trestle for the trestle, I guess. Uh, the last one's again going to be forest. I'm not going to be covering it because I don't feel like signing up for an API key. Uh, but we can go ahead and uh, after this is done, we can run a Rails S to start our server. And then we can come over to not, not Mersk, that is DHH's new project. Uh, we can come over to localhost port 3000 slash AA. And I'm gonna actually just take this and move it over here uh, because we don't have any code to look at today. So all of these are just gonna create a backend admin panel where you can go in and moderate your content. So if you have like, uh, you know, comments you want to look at, users leave comments, you can come in here, you can filter by them, look for the naughty words or whatever, uh, look for a specific user if, if you have like uh, users attached to the comments and, you know, grab all of those. Uh, in the case of this app, I think we're going to have some options here like the categories where uh, you can see more of what it's doing. Actually, let's go over to customers. We'll start with customers. So the reason why I want to start with customers here is because uh, it's actually a readable page. So you can see if you have an admin panel like this, you get like the uh, customer ID, company code, company name. So all of the fields of this record are on display for you. You can then, uh, you know, view, edit, delete, just like you normally would, or you can filter. So maybe we come in here, we want to grab all of the 
uh, the customers that are uh, in Poland, right? So we just type in Poland, click filter, and we get one result. So we know this person's in Poland. So if we're trying to sell them, I don't know, Poland back to them because we stole it or something, uh, then this is how you would do it. Uh, there's also comments. I'm not entirely sure if these work. I always have a weird time with the active admin comments. This doesn't look like it's working out of the box. I probably set something up wrong. Uh, but basically this allows the admin to leave comments on stuff. Maybe you come in here and you're like, I don't know, seems kind of sus. And then you click add comment and then later an admin can come in here, see this and be like, okay, well, we got to deal with this or whatever, right? So that is essentially active admin. There's really nothing interesting here. Uh, one of the things I will point out though, is if you have pictures or attachments, sometimes you can run into like, you, you generate this out, you plop in a, a active storage attachment, and then it ends up causing you to have to scroll over to a different zip code to like do your creating or your viewing. Uh, not a fan of this in general. This is one of those instances where either you go in and like edit the, the pictures or you would, uh, just not, um, not display this at all in your back end. So in my case, I would generate my own back end where I have like my own admin panel uh, and I would just have the category in the description. I'd leave off the picture because uh, I don't need to see the the source of the picture. Maybe I would have an image tag if I click on category details so that or if I click on like the show so I can actually see it. Uh, you can probably come into active admin and change that. But sometimes that's where you can run into some issues where uh, you, I guess that button doesn't work either, uh, where you, uh, you know, you try to edit it and you end up wasting more time than it's worth. It would have been just, just been easier to, to do your own thing. But okay, so this is active admin. I'll get off my high horse. We can come over here. The next one is rails admin. So we can come over here, go to slash RA. Uh, this one I like because it has pretty little moving progress bars when you first visit the page. Uh, but again, you know, that's fancy, but, uh, that's something that like junior me would have been impressed by uh current me is like all right i could just make a progress bar that moves and animates to its position uh when you visit the page in my own back end and not have to deal with some other applications dsl right but we can come in here we can look at the categories again uh these are doing things a bit a uh, bit more uh, cleverly i guess where it's not showing you that image so you don't have to deal with the uh the awful like image source being displayed to you the downside of this is of course you're not seeing anything about the images so like if we come back to localhost oops localhost port 3000 slash aa we go over to categories here at least i know there is a picture right in this case i if i don't know uh i might not even be aware that there's there's images attached to this category right so that might be something where looking at the different admin panels, you can draw comparisons between them and say, OK, so you probably want to indicate there is a picture uh, because in this case, I'm realizing like it, there there is no indicator. There's a picture attached uh, and then I don't know that my users might be you know posting whatever to the website. And on the surface, it, it might feel obvious that, uh, you know, you should know your entire application. But let's face it, applications get so big. Uh, that you just, you can't reasonably know every piece of every area instantaneously. So sometimes it is helpful just to have that little reminder that's like, hey, by the way, there's an image attached. Maybe you like click to show it or something, right? Uh, but the rest of this is pretty much the same. You have the ability to add new records. You have the ability to export them to like a CSV or whatever you'd like, uh, or JSON or XML. So if we come over to like our customers, we come over to export, we click export to CSV, uh, that will open up a save dialog. You can go ahead and save that and then open it in like Excel or whatever. Uh, so that is Rails admin. The rest of these are gonna be pretty similar, right? We come over here, localhost port 3000, oops, localhost port 3000 slash an AVO. AVO looks pretty uh, similar to the last one. Again, it looks like it's a basic bootstrap admin panel that has like uh, some stuff. But again, here it pictures taking up a lot of horizontal real estate, which is something I'm not a fan of. You might as well just say, is there an image attached true or false <laughs> at this point? Uh, because by the time you get over here, you've probably fallen asleep from scrolling. And again, it's a similar problem here where there's just an, an unnecessary amount of, of horizontal real estate. 
Uh, you can come down here, you got like the associated records again, because again, these categories correspond to whatever like they have many of. So in this case, I guess they have many beverages and many products. Uh, and you can scroll through these and you can probably come over and click the little eye, eye link to go look at this one, right? So this is, uh, it's a neat little admin panel. It looks like there's a search feature, but it seems like there's a little bit uh, of features that I personally prefer from the others if I had to choose one. Like I think uh, Active Admin's ability to uh, filter is is pretty, pretty useful. I don't think I'd necessarily have to, uh, you know, search the entire application that said uh, looks like there is a csv download button for active admin um, having a search is nice i just think it would also be useful if it had similar filters attached where you could just very quickly filter by stuff although that might be in in here somewhere not the point of the video i guess uh, if we come over to motor go to localhost port 3000 slash motor and then take a look at this oops slash motor uh, here we got, again, it looks like side panel categories, click on the categories. This one doesn't seem to have any data. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe I set something up wrong. It uh, looks like it has employees, so those are at least showing up so you can see what this looks like. Click on it, it takes you here. Uh, this has a pretty nice layout. Uh, it'd be nice if the other ones work, but it looks like this one's not working because of the malformed format. <laughs> so it might be an image issue. Uh, and then the last one, of course, is localhost port 3000 slash trestle. We can go ahead and full screen this one. It has the same stuff, uh, it looks like. But here, uh, I do like this. It looks like it truncates the picture so that it doesn't expand off into a different zip code, which is excellent. I just would like it if here I couldn't highlight this and edit the actual source of the image. That seems very questionable. Um, so maybe that would be something to take a look at changing. Uh, but yeah, so in general, I think, you know, you can learn from this this comparison of these different platforms. I think that's why this is, this is an ex excellent learning resource uh, just to take a look at what's out there and what you can use. Highly, highly big fan of this. Um, but again it's sort of like a, a case study and why you'd probably just want to roll your own solution most of the time because uh you either you know don't have that many models and it's not going to take that long to make an admin panel or you have so many models that your use case is going to be so specific that you are going to need to roll your own admin panel but yeah hopefully this is interesting hopefully this is helpful and hopefully i'll see you in the next video